Cannibal cinema is one of the most infamous subgenres of its kind, with its peak in the late 70s and early 80s, but over the summer I watched a modern cannibal film that completely changed my approach to the genre. Before I thought cannibal cinema was just gory visuals and naked tribes for exoticism and horror's sake. However, I have recently created a theory that can put a different view on the infamous genre. <laughs> The first part of my theory lies within women and cannibalism. The film that changed my life and view on cannibalism was Raw by Julia DeCorno. This is a coming of age film about a young woman who becomes a cannibal after consuming raw meat due to a virus inherited genetically. Raw uses cannibalism as a metaphor for womanhood and discovering one's sexuality, though one might not see it upon first watch due to the distraction of its incredible visuals and soundtrack. Cannibalism and bloodlust have been used similarly in John Fawcett's Ginger Snaps. In this cult Halloween classic, Ginger is infected with lycanthropy and cannibalistic tendencies after acquiring her first menstrual period. This leads to fleshy encounters both sexually and violently, something that happens often with female cannibals. If I wasn't here, would you eat her? <laughs> no. God, that'd be like fucking her. With a female cannibal, we not see a monster, but we see a person finding themselves in a lost world of adulthood. Eating another human being for a female cannibal is a sexual act. Flesh is flesh, whether that be genitalia or your own arm. When it comes to the male and tribal cannibals, we are viewing them as monsters, and they tend to try to reveal the nature of the human race. They are metaphors for the dog-eat-dog -dog world. That survival is key for the human race, even for the civilized. Let's take the film Cannibal Holocaust. In it, we see a documentary team that is a filming a cannibalistic trap. The team ends up dying at the hands of the cannibals and at the hands of their own crew, prompting the network exec to say, I wonder who the real cannibals are. In Cannibal Ferox, we are following a group that is trying to prove that cannibals don't exist, but it is revealed that the white man has aggravated the natives by, by betraying their trust and killing one of their ambassadors. In tribal cannibal films, it is revealed that even civilized man is evil. We are the monsters, not the cannibals. Take Hannibal Lecter. He's smart, charming, and a sophisticated man, and yet he's still one of the most terrifying villains in cinema. Cannibal cinema focusing on man and tribes reveal human nature as evil and non-discriminatory. All walks of life contain evil beings, not just the ones in South American forests. <music> Using my theory, you can boil cannibal cinema down to showcasing two basic primal qualities, lust and violence. These are not just gory surface level films, they are more revealing than we would like to admit. Many of us lust for a classmate. Many of us want to kill our co-workers. Society and law have forced us to subdue those primal qualities for better or for worse. Cannibal Cinema lets us explore these instincts through the subject matter of eating humans.